Hey guys, so in this video we're going to graph secant and cosecant of x. These are some of the tougher um, trig graphs to um, get down, so we're just going to practice here. And as we know, cosecant of x equals 1 over sine of x. And the best way to draw a cosecant is actually to start with just drawing sine of x. So we're just going to draw y equals sine of x, so I got the blue marker up. Uh, we're going to start with the same thing we always do. We got pi over 2, pi, 3 pi over 2 going all the way up to 2 pi. Um, we got ne same thing on the negative side, negative pi over 2, negative pi, negative 3 pi over 2, negative 2 pi. And then we've got our 1 and negative 1. And now we're just going to draw in our sine graph. It starts at the origin, goes up to 1, 0, negative 1, two, and then 0 again, and then goes down to negative 1, pi, one, zero. It's gonna look something like this. Gotta connect the dots. And let's finish this off right here. And then, so now let's get into drawing. Let me get the black marker out for um, the cosecant. So what we do is every time that sine touches the origin, we're gonna draw in asymptotes. So let's just do that right here. Every time sine touches the um, x-axis, I should say. So asymptote there, asymptote there, and then another asymptote here. Then what's unique is every t in between all the asymptotes we can see that um, sine has a point. Sine has a tip here, has a tip here, has one there, and one there. And then we're pretty much just going to draw parabolas on each one. So we're going to have it going here up to the asymptote just like a parabola. And then down here it's going to be the same thing just like a parabola going down then going back up and this is going to repeat infinitely many times so that y equals cosecant of x is what we see in black right here best way to draw it I think is undoubtedly to draw on um, the basic sine function and then just have the asymptotes and work your way off that so that's the way to do a basic y equals cosecant then we're going to follow a very similar process for y equals secant of x let's start by doing well secant of x equals 1 over cosine x. So we're going to start by doing y equals cosine x. Start with that graph. And again, we're going to have the same um, pi over 2, pi, 3 pi over 2, 2 pi. Same thing back here. Just everything negative. And even when we're doing transformations and stuff with um, cosecant and secant, I would still recommend that you do the transformations first with the sine and cosine and then just draw the asymptotes and that'll still make it easier. All right, so let me get, um, no, still blue for now. We have to draw our cos cosine x function. We know that that starts at zero, one, then it starts by going down, let's draw all, all our points in, then it goes back up. And then here it's gonna start by going down this way, back up all the way to one at negative two pi. Then we just got to connect the dots a bit, like a little wave. That's good enough. Okay, so, well, if we do asymptotes on the last one, I think we should do that again. Let's see how that goes. All right. We're going up here, going up here. Same thing. And it really is the exact same thing. Every time we see one of the points again, we're going to have our asymptotes. And so let's make them here. We're going to have one going like this. We're going to have one going like this, and then this. Going this way, and this way. Down and down. Then the same thing would be going up here. So the function in black now is the y equals secant of x function. And if you notice, it's really the um, cosecant of x function just shifted over a tiny bit. Just shifted over pi over 2 units, and that'll give you um, the secant of x function. So hope this video was able to help, and just let me know if you have questions. I definitely recommend starting with your two basic ones, y equals sine x, y equals cosine x, and going from there. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.